Hi everyone, this is Erica. Hello to another uh, session of Octopath Traveler 2. Um, I'm gonna finally go get um, Oswald. I'm going to head west here. Are you my next patient? Well now. Fireball okay. probably finish them or largely. Okay, these enemies aren't entirely weak to be honest. Okay, which thief That thing where she goes first, right? Yeah, step ahead. Okay. So we'll cross the bridge, right? Yeah, you gotta go cross the bridge to get down onto the correct part of the road. Okay. Set up there. So now I can already get this going. <laughs> I'm hungry. So over the top. It's so hard to see. Ooh, okay. Can't even get there from there. Cape Cold Snows, Danger Level 11. Here, I probably just want to go to town on the enemies. Okay. Okay, and then 
and head west into whatever town Let's that is. Play. Ready? Yeah. What to do? Okay. Right. Yeah, there we go. Dagger dance, bewildering grace. Okay, skill. Okay. Let's try a different job. I also want to uh, learn dancer skill as well. Okay. again. It's like a uh, auto life. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You can make them pay for it. Yeah, we just stole from the peddler there. Okay. This might be an area I've never been. Okay. Where's your chest? Uh, I'm a greedy, I'm an avaricious person. My turn. <laughs> what to do? Okay. My turn. I know no cure for evil. Ooh, about to get to level twenty-seven. One, two, seven. Okay, let's see this here. Guess in this leads to a chest. Okay. Life is too precious to risk. What to do? <laughs> Let's see, sharp nut. Really now, cleaning time. Take this. 
Here goes. Maybe next time. Level 27 for Throne, seven more levels. Okay. This way. Keep cold, or I thought it said keep card. <laughs> okay. He's going what to do? She's off the Pilgrimage to Flame Church. Okay. We have a heavily pregnant wife, diligent worker, only flaws, a jumpy, nervous disposition, wife cautious and calm. So as a couple they can find balance. So that they, as a couple they find balance. <laughs> Send local fishermen. Thank you. I'm not gonna steal from kids. Your boss is cool, doesn't bother him at all. Thank you. Better not catch you causing trouble in this village. Oh, a bit suspicious, are we? Thank you. Okay. Oh, you gotta go south to get to them, okay? Visions, okay. All right, let's head south. <laughs> I should have been going south, not north. Okay, that was a little confusing, but okay, whatever. Life is too precious to risk. What to do? Delts to flats. Wait, how do I get here? Oh my god. Do I gotta take the boat? Oh, I probably gotta take the boat. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's a little confusing on how to actually get there. Okay. Life is too 
precious to risk. Cleaning time. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, God. I'm at the point because they're so weak. Equip support skills. Balloon. What was that? Evasive maneuvers. This damn thing's gonna leave me alone for a second. Okay. Guess you have to take the boat over. I don't know. So where where is he? It's very unclear to me. Okay, at least it's not as bad. Ready? So I guess the guy already broke out of prison. And is essentially lying helplessly there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Dude, you don't want to be lying down in the middle of the cold like that with no fire nearby. Jeez, it's like, do you have a death wish? Where am I? Listen, I'm unconscious. You saved me there. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. You must be a traveler. I'm looking for someone. I'm sure you have your own reasons for travel. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? Sure. It's the only logical choice, and my magic is sure to be of use. Okay. You've chosen well. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. So? Oh my god, what happened? Um, let me go back to the title menu or something. I don't think I was paying attention. Because so I was saying I wanted to see the story and then it was like asking me some other question. Like maybe there's a problem with seeing the story or something, I don't know. Let me try again. Come on, Jesus Christ. Hopefully I'm right where he is. Oh, okay. Is it auto saved there or something? Oh. Oh my God. My turn. 
Jesus. Let me get to him already. God damn. Yes. Skip. Yes. You've chosen one. Okay. Yes. Being held prisoner, his tale will continue uninterrupted until the end of chapter two. Proceed anyway. Oh, I see, I see. All right. So it looks like it's going to be a while with him. All things in this world have a source. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. Okay, he's in court. You, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? Why is the prosecutor running this show? The facts are he doesn't have a defense attorney or anything. The fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. Gruesome. <laughs> I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. Why do you speak for the court, Mr. However, Prosecutor, man? There is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. Ooh, magic in the law. <laughs> You were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? I think not. The court's failing to consider Having other possibilities. A thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting. Such a fire. How could you even argue that? Is no one else able to use magic? In the sacred name of Alaban the Scholar King, the court hands down the following verdict. Man, what the hell? Oswald B. Vanstein. We find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Frigid Isle, okay. Do you have any last words? <laughs> Harvey. The man who took everything from me. Shall die by my hand. I swear it. Five years later. So he's been in prison for five years for a crime he hasn't committed. Man, that's pretty effing terrible. Frigid Isle. A solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Okay. Some call it the edge of the world. Blanketed in snow all through the year. <sighs> the nearest continent is due east. Four days journey by sea, even on the largest vessel. Even then, the fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mighty ships. Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. So yeah, it's diff it's uh, Sing Sing or Alcatraz set up, I think, is what it was called, or Sing Sing or something like that here in the U.S. 
This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80 year history, none have escaped. But I'd have to say, given it's their shitty due That's process, a lot of those prisoners are probably innocent. The prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived. We have a life sentence. Eight hundred seventy-nine days. Ah, you've been counting. Neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? Hmm. <laughs> you know what this is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. Oh boy. Quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. Oh boy. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. Cigarettes are a You're thing in this to game. Take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. <sighs> okay, well, let's fight. Mug at night, I'll fucking mug townspeople for their belongings. Oh, he can mug people. Oh, wow. If you want it back so badly, come and get it. So they let you have your staff with you. Okay. Warden Davids. It's him. He attacked me. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. <coughs> How do you like the new toy I gave you? Professor. <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. Oh, I thought that was a beard. The only one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. <laughs> <coughs> it's actually disparate treatment. And no one else in the prison is able to it's use magic? Four. Magic, I as I understand, is... Somewhat relatively common. It's where you can recruit lots of townspeople no who can use it. I see it. I'll have none of it. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. I imagine prison. You're begging for your life. That is. <laughs> I imagine criminals would be more likely to know magic because it can be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. Oh, wow. 
At least some valuable information has come of all of this. This guy really learns his One stuff. Warden his... And 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Prison break! Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. <laughs> and all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. Okay. An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook. Using a cipher, naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years. And polished it to a fine sheen. Wow, this guy's very detail-oriented. three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. Well, I imagine that's a pretty this, big piece of the puzzle. I have chosen a passage mm -hmm. that leads beneath the prison. Oh, okay. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. So you already solved that part, okay. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, then soon. Okay, you want to make sure that it would actually work, okay. The second, suitable clothing. Yeah. Once uh, I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. Yeah, it should be pretty obvious. The cold will claim me in minutes if I'm clad in nothing but these rags. The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. Oh, wow! With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. Wow, so he wants to get somebody else's perspective, At too. Which point, someone he can trust. Only its execution shall remain. The next morning. Wake up, human filth! To work with you. Human filth. Why are we? Why are we being called human filth? Are the guards not human? Are they like demi humans or beastlings or something? Because apparently beastlings are not demi humans. They're like six I or eight of demi human types. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore, and the prison was built atop the wreckage. Oh wow! To this day, there remains phosphol buried in the fridge of earth. Phosphol. It's immensely flammable. It sells for a fair bit of coin. Yeah, like what uh, Trousseau used. The prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with. Proceeds. Mind scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving! Unless you'd rather freeze to death! What's wrong with you? I can't move anymore. Brutal place. Don't you go soft on me, criminal. <laughs> Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So bear whatever God you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless. Compared to the precious phosphor, you cleave from the earth. Who's going to be making money off this phosphor? You instead, if you were anywhere near as easy to set alight. Jesus. Do you understand? Answer me. Warden, sir, is already dead. 
Yeah, what the fuck? What the hell? An unfortunate sight. <laughs> we are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made of order. I'm impressed by this guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The you already explained it. An escape route. I guess it's helpful just to the review. Prison it. is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing all need to survive. Okay. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this Provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. Must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. Okay. So I wonder if, uh, yeah. Hey, well, I guess they have you set up like that. That way, you're not stuck at it. So the murder is like you even have hearts. Oh, this is where you make it. Who the hell can make this place a home? Okay. Better off not knowing what I've done. Let that spug look off your face. Yeah, he can't speak, right? So you're the muzzle scholar I've heard so much about. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. The name is Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I can secure most anything people ask for. Not for money given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, he won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness, I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. Scrutinize during the day. Oswald can scrutinize new, to glean new knowledge from townspeople. Try, try press line your townsperson. Yes. Hmm. Prisoner number 291055. Known to many as the provisioner, he's capable of acquiring most anything asked of him, albeit at a rather onerous cost. Ratchet's pretty risky for him. Prisoner number 296432. Crimes. Fraud, perjury, forgery. Sentence 18 years. Notes. Prisoner is delusional and a pathological liar. Better off not knowing what I've done, okay? Well, I mean, doesn't sound too delusional. If 
firm believer that justice is served when the prisoners suffer and that they must be guided with a firm and unsparing hand. He greatly admires Warden Davis, Davids, and hopes to take his place. Prisoner number 220024, crime serial arson, murder, sentenced 214 years. Key virus, warm and toasty. Hmm. The impo this impossibly silent man is charged with document creation at the prison. Said silence is born of a deep seated hatred of every prisoner on the island. Okay, perhaps the only same graces as silence keeps him from becoming yet another voice berating the inmates. Okay, you don't say nothing. Scrutinize. Prisoner number 304916, crime, human trafficking. Sentence, 28 years. Prisoner is extremely violent. Former human trafficking victim turned human trafficker. Okay. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Okay. Hmm. Prisoner number two nine three five three three, sentence twenty ninety eight years. A relatively Mild-mannered prisoner compared to the others. He was unable to read upon incarceration, but learned to do so under the library guard's tutelage. I want to say there's a 50-50 chance that guy was probably innocent. Or he might have committed crimes, but they weren't anywhere near what he's sentenced for. So, yeah. I don't believe this prisoner knows it. Guard. Timid guard who doubles as the prison librarian. He avoids trouble at all costs and lets prisoners do as they please. This while official policy states that books are not to be taken out of the library, he generally looks the other way. Okay. Prisoner number 300328. Crimes, theft, illegal commerce. Since it's 22 years, notes, prisoners stole and sold a rare book belonging to the Order of the Sacred Flame. The book's whereabouts remain unknown. None. Is this the Book of Night that we've heard about otherwise? Yeah, I imagine so. Okay. Prisoner number 293612, crimes, manufacture and sale of illegal concoctions, sentence 43 years. Yeah, it's longer than he's lived. Prisoner number 321154, crimes, trespassing, theft, murder, sentence 64 years. Okay. Jet out yard. Probably talk to him when you talk to these other people. Hmm. Prisoner number 257134, crime mass poisoning sentence, 156 years. Sounds pretty terrible. But again, given their shit due process, was it really him? Prisoner. Prisoner number 291056. Warden Davids dropped his coin purse the other day, and this prisoner watched as Bale picked it up. He doesn't dare tell a soul, though, as Bale knows his weakness. Bale's weakness. Oh, so we got blackmail material. Here it is. Surely this is the provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Nice. All right. Finally 
come to pay, have you? Hmm. In a way. Hey, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What? Where did you get this? What? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. Okay. Cold weather wear. Perfect. Hmm. My plan proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Nice. Back to your cells, you animals. That so abusive. Back to the hole. To him. to him. Okay. Through this place, you should be able to point me in the right direction. So it's time I put some prisoners under a little scrutiny to find a suitable candidate. The question is which to procure first. Find a floor plan and an accomplice. Okay. Long serving guard on this island. Physically and verbally assaulting the prisoners is a fact of life for him now. When he first joined, he had high hopes for the prisoner prisoner's rehabilitation, but the prison has changed him. So many guards watching the cafeteria during the shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. Prisoner number 310549, a prisoner who was once an aristocrat. He seems cultured and intellectual, but is prone to leaps in subject as well as sudden bouts of shouting and unruliness. I probably don't want to take that guy along. No. I cannot tie my fortunes to this prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> my god. Probably the guy by the kitchen, but let's see. Prisoner number 321078. Impression flippant. A foot licker who reports misconduct to the prison guards the second he witnesses it, which has made him most unwelcome among the other prisoners. No, this one won't do. I'll say. Emerald. Hmm. Prisoner number 294025. Sentence, 30 years. A well-known figure around the prison, his exceedingly wary demeanor belies a sense of determination unlike any other. This guy seems pretty good. You there. A word. What, is he thinking about doing the same thing? What are you planning? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. Observe it. That's exactly the guy he wants to take along, right? Ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muscle. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. And all that time you've been feigning indifference while you surveil the place, right? Prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. Watching for minute differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. As far as I'm concerned, 
Only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years. Hungry beasts and people plotting an escape. That's it. What's a hungry beast? <clears throat> What are you, Professor? <laughs> Shake your head if you're the former, or nod if you're the latter. I trust this guy. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request. Okay. I can Nod. be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information is good. <laughs> you could do far worse, Professor Jim. Someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot from your observance. And he's not exactly going to rat you out either. He is correct that I have need of his wares. I can certainly use him to my advantage. I knew you'd see it my way. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. I wonder how he eats. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. That's true. It's probably a schedule, well, though. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. I won't come easily. Not impossible, though. I'll contact you once I have it. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? The plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Oswald. Have you found the answer? Who's speaking to him? No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. So, transforming into something else? Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. 
You're a genius, Oswald. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. After forced labor, all I need now is a suitable escape route. Someone who knows the history of this place should be able to point me in the right direction. Okay. I think I've already scrutinized a lot of these people. Look like in here. Is there maybe a treasure chest or something? I must find a prisoner familiar with the underground passage. Prisoner number 319471. Crimes, treason, seditious conspiracy. Sentence 39 years. Notes. Prisoner was found defacing a public building with anti establishment writings. Claims to be an artist. Oh my god, he got 39 years for that? Oh my effing god. <laughs> Prisoner number 281069. Crimes. Instigating foreign aggression. Insurrection. Sentence 409 years. Hold on. Oh. What's up here? Okay, okay. I'm actually getting a lot of freedom to move around, aren't I? It's in here. It's locked. Hmm. Prisoner number 269457 crime piracy since it's 98 years. While it'd be interesting to scrutinize all these prisoners, I'm gonna not gonna take forever so let's see I'll just do the one with the green text boxes yeah here we go prisoner number three six zero eight three one prone to sudden fits of shrill piercing laughter this laughter is his attempt to dissuade others from approaching as he is recently incarcerated and terrified of prisoner prisons Doubt this guy knows the Don't history of this place. This prisoner knows anything. Yeah. Okay, back around this where the cells are. There are two hundred and how many prisoners here? I'm guessing these aren't the only cells. <laughs> prisoner number two zero three six seven eight. Prisoner serving an extremely long sentence who worked on the construction of the underground passage. The hard labor ruined his live legs, however, leaving him confined to a cell, doing far simpler labor. Labor report whereabouts. He might know a thing or two about it. <laughs> the underground passage. I don't just know it. I helped build it. Don't go asking me details. Best I can say is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library. Library, okay. Labor report whereabouts. That was very helpful. Thank you. The library. Yeah, I'm surprised prison library's got all that info. Sound here. Oh. 
Okay. Labor report. This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. And they were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second glance. Hmm. <laughs> huh. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied nice. the tunnel's construction, and I am certain it is suitable for my escape. Back to your cells now. Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole then. Man, so it's taking him like three days just to gather these pieces of info. Oswald, have you found the answer? Is that like the scholar king talking to him? I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? One true magic. What You've does that mean? Done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Now, allow me, the great Harvey. This was the guy that framed him, right? To provide the final piece for you. Wow, what an evil man. I really don't want the one true magic getting in his hands. Harvey. Okay. It took a while, but the goods came in. What's this? I don't recall giving you permission to speak to one another. Warden Davids. Ah, uh, you misunderstand, Warden. This isn't what it. It's your lucky day, scum. Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toil. Do I make myself clear? Jesus. <clears throat> At least that's the last I'll ever feel of that club. Right? I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Time to meet with Emerald. Hmm. In here. Okay. Bridget Isle Yard. Okay. Usually in the cafeteria, right? Oh, he's not there right now. Damn, they left a the corner. 
corpse there. Well, it's now a skeleton, but damn. So underground passage would definitely be near floor level, all right? I'm not seeing him here. I remember they said it was by the guard station, right? Here we go. Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Better still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. <sighs> All we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. We're nearly free. Now I'm getting performance anxiety. I wonder if Oswald is too. Tomorrow. At last, the time has come. The next day. How are you gonna get past all those guards? I can't believe they made it. Hi, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. Yeah, I imagine they don't like inspectors breathing down their necks. The inspector should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. That leaves a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. Okay, let's do this. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage. It's by the guard station, right? The entrance to the underground passage should be just about here. Oh wow. We left the friggin' oh okay. excellent work, confidant. Onward. Confidant. Onward. But first, mm. I have a little something for you. The key to that muzzle of yours. Nice. <laughs> I'm locked up now, sure. But I was quite the thief outside these walls. <laughs> now I finally get to hear your voice. Nice. Because <laughs> he's not used to talking, it's well, been five years. Aren't you going to say anything? It's cold. There we are. Huh. Now I see why they needed to muzzle you. You're quite the talker. <laughs> There's no time. Keep moving. Oh, and uh, thanks for the key. You're real warm and fuzzy, aren't you? Say the thanks for when we make our escape. So you should be able to use magic now, right? Off we go, confidant. We might have forgotten a lot of it, perhaps. Over the years. 
Prison Underground Passage, Danger Level 2, Winterlands. Let's start a battle. Svald can deduce one weak point for the foe. Okay. I need a plan. <sighs> nice. <laughs> no. Fireball, maybe? Fire. Skeletons. Okay. So oh, hey, you just hang out here. Waiting for prisoners to come by. So convenient. Wait a minute. Do I have? No. Fire. Burn. Broken. <laughs> Miss me. Let's have another sag in the dark. Somebody took down the ladder. No! The ladder's been destroyed. I guess move those Damn. boxes over. We were so close. I see some boxes over there. The cuts look fresh. This was done recently. I fear I've underestimated our opponent. That you did. Oh boy, okay. At long last, the scholar speaks. Hello, Oswald. <coughs> I commend you for making it this far. You even managed to remove the muzzle. But your choice of ally was your downfall. We've been watching Emerald for some time now. I suspected you two would work together. Pretty sharp. I'm sorry, confidant. I should have known. Save your breath. The fault is mine. And I will correct it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not the first, you know. I've seen countless like you. So many have tried. 
and every last one die a tragic death. And so it would be my honor to put you back in your place. Okay. Out of my way. Hmm. The only thing is, he doesn't know lightning. I can break them too. Good one, Professor. Oh my. Oh shit. Wrong one. This wasn't in my calculations. Do I have to? Here, Professor. Tide is turning. I need a plan. Thinking time. Pierce the wings of frost. Good one, Professor. Okay, so we're about to finish off this guy. Go ahead. 
break them. gain a few levels I'm gonna take another look at my strategy as well and I'm gonna learn look at my skills okay let me go ahead and grind a little bit here Ooh, is there gonna be a treasure chest here stay back, stay back. do I have to yeah. try again I need a plan Nice. Thinking time. All according to plan. Good one, Professor. I'm done. Nice. What a let them. Lightning bolt. Okay. Ancient necklace. Missed it. Sinner's staff. Stick. Okay. Uh, not necessarily anything to write home about, but it could. I think every little bit counts, so. Thinking time. All according to play. I like this guy. I love all these characters. They're so great. Well done.
Strike them down. Yeah, they're all weak against it. It's nice. Well done. Strike them down. Miss me. No. Strike them down. Then again, I might want to hold off. Stab in the dark. <laughs> Stab in the dark is very useful, especially once he's the only one standing. Nice. There we go. Strike them down. Okay, there we go. Concentrate spells. No. Problem is, this one's mad at magic. He's almost gone. Hmm. Let me show calculations complete. Let's take this guy out. Strike them down. Your finish. Nice. Yeah, 
you're screwed. No. Strike that gap. Yay. Study harder. Always on the second try. He's at level seven now. You will. Don't think you can escape this place. Not for not. We just killed Looks the like warden. There's more rats where these came from. Could be our way out. We have to keep moving. Where exactly? This is the end of the road. No, I have the answer. Flames, reduce this wall to ash. Nice. Whoa. Yeah, I think that'll do, Confidant. <laughs> we have to go now. The hardest part is still ahead. At the edge of the world sits Oswald, a man fueled by the fires of, of vengeance. After five years toiling in captivity, has at last made his escape. Now an angry sea sits between him and true freedom. One last trial on his journey to the mainland. The once imprisoned scholar's hardships have only just begun. Let's follow the scholar, chapter one, end. Okay. This will be chapter two, right? this place at oh what the fuck Harvey Oswald. How have I <laughs> in your shadow? Isn't he the guy that assassinated Kennedy? I've taken all that once was yours. Yeah, Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, wow. <laughs> and in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. There he is. It's Oswald. Bastard! This, Oswald, is my answer. <laughs> I guess those cops are Ever crooked. Day, a fire is burned within my breast. Harvey, you took everything from me. Hey, 
Professor Oswald. Come on, give me a sign. Are you alive in there? Let's go, people. I'm fine. You gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. One. There are monsters here. Out of my way. Do I have to? Thinking time. Oh, okay. That definitely makes things more challenging. Don't break yet. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? Go to the ship. And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. Commandeer the ship. The last part will be the hardest. Escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier. And yet... The warden likely told them about escape let's see what we can learn about the situation come we make for the ship okay Bridget Isle, Anchorage, Danger Level 7. So it's right there, okay. Level level 3. Okay. the treasure chest on the side path. I guess there's probably going to be some sort of boss. Yep. Okay, let me save. Let me get one more level. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, there's some guards there, definitely. How did you plan to get past them? There are prisoners on the loose. Put everyone on patrol. Hunt them down. How do you plan to get past them? Why don't you have been considerate? The inspectors have heard about us. What do we do now? Alter our plans. There's no other choice. We can't stow away on their ship now. We'll make other arrangements. Make other what? Ranger? Do you see another boat out here? Yeah, I know, right? Construct one, I guess? I don't know. There they are! Seize them! They found us! Professor, we've got company! That was inevitable. We have to prevent this from causing further commotion. Okay. Stay back! Thinking time. Strike them down. Do I have to? Nice. Thinking time. Okay. Do I have to? There we go. <laughs> Let's not waste it. Strike them down. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. We have to find somewhere to hide. They'll run us down too quickly out here. There's a shack just there. Let's go. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Is there anybody in there? What's the plan, Professor? They're bound to catch us. I imagine they're going to probably want to check out I the shack soon the enough. Their ship as we plan. Mm -hmm. I'll need something else. Hmm. If you have any bright ideas, do share them quickly. I'm freezing my rocks off here. Rocks. That's it. What did you just say? What? That I'm freezing my rocks off? That's it. You're a fantastic assistant, Emerald. Well, my freezing rocks are gonna save us? <laughs> no. The straw over there is. What could you possibly do with a bit of straw? If we have no ship, then we will make our own. Surely you're joking. Crossing the ocean on a boat of straw? Do you think us otters? Nay, we are human and have the intellect to prove it. <laughs> Storm of ice, arise. No, oh, hey, nice. I give you so a ice boat. You guys would be pretty cold though, but hey. A foundation of boiling need to straw do? beneath a thick sheet of ice. What? You made a boat. Leave my eyes. Let's go. <laughs> this might actually work. I once heard of a town blanketed in snow and divided by a river. The people there laid batches of straw down in the river and splashed water atop them until an icy bridge formed. Entire horse-drawn carriages crossed over the ice bridges without incident. Oh, wow. And I wouldn't have recalled it if not for you. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes, that should prove seaworthy. And there's no chance of the boat melting in this cold. Probably want to huddle close to together. Let's see the opposite shore on the boat of ice, but wasn't it like four days away? Stone. Well, made it out of that alive. I have to say, <laughs> so cartoonish. Oh, surprisingly sturdy. <laughs> of course it is. Do not doubt my ice magic. should carry us to the mainland. But one thing still worries me. They'll continue their pursuit, even if we manage to reach the mainland. In my initial plan, I hope to sink the inspector's vessel before we reach shore. It was to look like an accident. And ensure we were presumed dead. But now you won't have that anymore. Clearly, we won't have that luxury now. Hmm. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask you something, Professor. Go on. You were brought in for killing your wife and child. Did you do it? Nope. doesn't concern you. I've been on Frigid Isle a long time. I've met more prisoners that I can't remember. But you, you're not like the rest of them. No, there's something different about you. Stop, Professor. I said stop. <sighs> I can't do this. I can't go with you. Why not? Boat of ice? Is this some sick joke? You saw it worked, right? It's a four days journey to the mainland, if we're lucky. <laughs> we'll likely freeze to death by then. You can take your chances aboard this frozen dinghy, but I... I will be commandeering the inspector's ship. That won't be easy with everyone out there looking for you. They'll deploy fleets from Frigid and the mainland, trapping you at sea. You've a better chance of crossing safely on something small like this. <laughs> well, I won't know that until I try, will I? All right, Emerald. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do what you will. So long, Oswald. I won't mourn him. This was always, shall we say, a friendship of convenience. being caught embezzling funds from a crime syndicate he killed his pursuers and managed to escape or so he thought his wife and daughter who knew nothing of his crimes were murdered in retaliation so with nothing you now see that there's more to life than money oh wow okay at least you'll distract us you'll distract them Oh wow. He got that there far. He is. Damn. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Watch the boat now. I. <sighs> Set to it now. I have very little patience. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Never make it out on this ship. Not just arrest me again. Only one thing left to do. They made me mine fossil till I spit blood. Uh -oh. So I might as well put it to good use. Oh fuck. Shit. <laughs> Farewell, Professor. Fossil. Very flammable substance that acts as fuel for fire. Fire and ice. Only one puzzling fact remained. Emerald. Why did you set fire to the inspector's ship? His actions drew the attention of the guards, allowing my small boat to escape unnoticed. And not only that, I doubt anyone is chasing me now. They have no way of knowing that Emerald and I split up. They're likely to assume that I was also aboard the Inspector's sinking ship. Emerald's final act was utterly... <sighs> well, some mysteries never get solved. An emptiness has settled in my breast. Wow. So I keep rowing, as far as my arms will take me, wherever that may be. Welcome home, dear. Rita. You must be exhausted. It wasn't so bad. Oh, Oswald. How I long to be with you, to ease your pain. To get you looking presentable again. No. To make you some goulash with Elena. Rita, I... Alas, my dear, I cannot. No. You have unfinished business. Papa. So you cannot stay here. For it is not yet time. I love you, my dear. to the small fishing village of Cape Cold. <sighs> You're one of the prisoners from Frigid Isle, aren't you? Wow. Found you collapsed on the beach, nearly frozen to death. Only the faintest hint of breath in you. My 30 years looking after this little finger of land, I've seen three prisoners wash up from Frigid. Wow, <laughs> I'm surprised. The first to do so alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a 
quiet one. Has your mouth frozen shut as well? I need food. resist to look through your personal effects. I too am a scholar, though not one of any renown, mind. Here, take this robe. It's a damn sight better than your prison rags, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'll see. Thank you, Kongli, good man. Come now. This is the least I could do. But from here on out, I ask that you lead an honorable life. Oswald's escape from Frigid Isle was a success. The soil beneath his feet sings of liberty stoking the fire within him. Bitterness and rage propel him toward one man, Harvey, the murderer of his wife and child. Oswald takes his first steps down the path to revenge. Oswald the Scholar, Chapter 2, End. So that was that. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Okay. Okay, they make sure equipment and stuff's all squared away. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up once I get that done. What job would I want him to do? Merchant, dancer, cleric, warrior, inventor, arms master, hunter. Yeah, let's do Arms Master. Star Splitter. Better than that. 
equip effect prevents instant death. Okay. All right. Finishes it for this session of Octopath Traveler 2. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Bye.